Yeah, good evening, uh, bang bang well. Yeah, um, Jimmy Tibbet, um, used to get my fights with me. Em, well, Eddie, Terry Coombs, also do it, Gypsy Tom, sometimes. Uh, yeah, I was quite active, uh, but most of the times I used to fight a lot of doormen, you know, loads of doormen. And Jimmy um, came around my house with Eddie Richardson, and they took me to a club. Um, over over Hayes side of over there way Hayes side, so it's me Terry Coombs, and uh, and Jimmy Tibbet went over there. Um, went into his club. Uh, there was about what four four bouncers in there, big guys. Uh, one guy had a big beard. Yeah, it was a big beard. Tattoos all over his hands. Looked a rough bit of a roughneck. Uh, walked in there, but didn't pay nothing. I mean, he let Eddie straight through. Yeah, uh, go in there, sitting down. Loads of people in there, just sitting down. I had a uh, Guinness and black currant. Uh, Eddie had a few drinks and Jimmy, and all of a sudden they got up and they walked over to the door and they was talking to a couple of guys and uh, this guy with a beard, massive guy with a beard, looked over and I said, uh, Jimmy went to me, all right, like that. And I went, yeah, yeah, sweet, 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 yeah, sweet, sweet. Like that. Um, I didn't even know, I, I knew what I was saying, but I was hoping it was what I was saying, if you know what I mean. So, uh, Jimmy came over and said, uh, what do you fancy, do you fancy him? I said, yeah, I don't mind, Jim. Eddie came over and said, uh, I think he's about 19 stone, mate. He was a big lump, mate. Could you handle that? I was about 18 stone, 18 and a half stone, fit, muscular. He was maybe 19, 19 and a half stone. He could even be more, actually. A tall guy, six foot two, six foot three, big beard, um, tattoos on his hands. Rough looking, rough looking guy. Uh, so we're sitting down, and all of a sudden he walks over with a couple of his couple of his, uh, bouncers, walks over, looks at me, just nodded and walks on you. And I thought, yeah, he do. Yeah, I don't mind. He do. I said, when's that, uh, Ed? He said that'd be maybe a couple of weeks. Would that have it down at Harvey Social Club? He said, I said, yeah, that do. I said, what will I be top of the bill? He said, no. He said, I think it's over. Of uh, Mickey May's top of the of the bill, or Paul, or little Paul Fitzgerald. I'm not quite sure, but they're fighting some good people, so it looked like they'd be top of the bill. But do you mind? I said, no, no, no. As long as the money's sweet, I don't care. I'm not really bothered. Uh, he said, okay, I'll arrange it all. And so Jimmy got up with Eddie. Uh, they walked over to the guy had a chat, um, and the guy sort of nodded as if not to say yes because they'd already talked to him anyway. Uh, he come over, looked up, look, look at me. And when I went back, uh, when Ed, uh, Eddie went back with Jimmy, uh, they more or less told me yeah, I've accepted it, yeah. Um, so the night arrived, I went down there. Um, the guy was sitting there uh, at a table, a few drinks. He's drinking, this guy, I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? Um, and I looked at him, I thought, yeah, yeah, he's just, yeah, do me, he do me. He's, uh, he's, he's been drinking, this guy, so I don't drink, I'm quite fit, maybe I have one Guinness about 600 black counts in it in the night, yeah. But anyway, uh, stood up, went and see the doctor. And when we went and see the doctor, um, and he took his shirt off and all that going, he was, he had the tattoos, he had loads of tattoos all over his body, but all hairy chest, so that's a tattoos a long time ago. All the hairs, you know, all of his arms were hairy, but all tattoos, smuggled with tattoos. And, and now I noticed, right, that he's, he had a belly, he had a big belly bed. Covered over my hair, yeah? But he had a belly, mate. And I thought, yes. Nice one, you know what I mean? Big belly, got on the scales. I think it was about white, 21, 21 stone, 20 and a half stone. I was about 18 and a half, 19 stone. Six foot fit, muscular. Six foot three, six foot two, maybe a bit, I don't know, maybe that's a bit big, you know? And we was about four, fifth on. And then the old adrenaline starts pumping in and you get a bit nervous. The adrenaline's going in and drinking a bit of water, uh, doing a little shit bit of shadow boxing, and you know, the adrenaline's getting in, it's kicking in, white, white gums, your gums are going all white, you know, and uh, yeah, your lips and all everything you, you don't want to do, you know, all your lips are white, and you think, oh, what? And then all of a sudden, and Eddie coming and said, What are you on, mate? I walked in there, everybody's cheering me because everybody knows me because I've had loads of fights in there since. Um, this guy gets in, everyone's going, whoa, hold up. You know, this guy's big, man. He's big and he's getting the wings bouncing up and down. He's, you can see he's a lump, yeah? And he's got a massive beard. 
And anyway, I get in there and it goes in to meet him, goes in to the thing and he's like giving it all that, shoving me, man, shoving me across the ring. And I thought, oh, what a nice one, you know what I mean? He just shoved me across the ring, like a little, like as if, if I was a baby, he was really strong, yeah? I thought, sweet, man. And the bump and bell went the first round and he came rushing towards me like a lunatic, really rushing, throwing bombs. He was throwing bombs from the waist, from his ass, from his hips, whack. He was leaving himself wide open, but he was firing them and I was moving around, just quick jabs, moving around, back, back, moving my head back, throwing big bombs, yeah? And uh, a couple of times he's hit me on top of the head and he's rocked me a bit. He can, this game gives a can, can bang, you know, and I don't only swings, but if one of them hit you on the chin, mate, he was a big, big guy. He had, wasn't muscular, but he was massive. You know, like big one of them guys who've got just big, big, big shoulders. I thought, if he hits you on the chin, you're going to go, you know, you're going to know it. Anyway, I kept firing big bombs and he hit me on the shoulder. And but when he hit me on the shoulder, he come off the shoulder and hit me on the chin. Poor mate, and it rocked me, and I had to go down. And he come over, and he tried to knee me at the same time. And I went back, and I lay down flat on the floor, and I thought, oh, hold up. And I got up at about the count of eight, and I thought, well, hold up, I've got this geezer, he means it, you know what I mean? And so I got up, bumped the bell, went, I got in the corner, and said, Jim, what are you playing now? I said, listen, Jim, you hit me hard, mate. You hit me, on the, hit me on the shoulder, hit me on the chin, it hurt me, you know what I mean? I had to go and stay down, I went down. You know, he, he rocked me a little bit, this geezer can bang. I was sitting there swinging punches. Jimmy went, look, he's swinging punches, mate. He's open, he's open. His chest is open, his tummy is open, and his chin is wide open. Come on, play the game. Let's have this geezer. Oh, let's, have, let's finish this in the second round. Finish it, yeah. Goes out in the second round. He's open. I'm flicking. I'm flicking down below. I'm moving back. I'm flicking down. Bobbing away. Bang, bang. I'm hitting downstairs, but I'm not hitting him really hard downstairs. Just little jabs to let him know that he's coming, yeah? He's going to come, mate. And he's like, putting his hands down every time I'm flicking. Bang, I went, whoop, over the top, crash. I done him up, hit him over the top with a right hand, mate. Whoop, he hit the floor. He was down from, I don't know, six, seven, got up, rocking. And I thought, right, and now it's my time. Now it's my chance. Uh, what I'm going to do, I ain't going to finish it, mate, with you yet. I'm going to play around with you a bit. So now I'm just grabbed, I'm, grabbed, I'm throwing at his head now. He's got his hands up in the air, get his hands up in the air, throw it, wham, boom, he go downstairs, whack. I whack him in the belly and he's down again on the floor. And he's, he's you can see he's, he's on the way up, mate. He's going, he's mine, yeah. He's mine. Bill goes crash, got in the corner. Jimmy said, you should have finished it. I said, no, 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 Jim. I'm going to punish this geezer. This geezer thought I was some sort of a mug. He pushed me from one side of the room to the other side of the room. We started off and he kept bombing me big bombs. Went, right? nah, no, he's going to, he's going to pay for it. Goes out, comes out, bang, same thing, flicking, 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 flicking. And I went over the right hand. He put his hands out, whoop, underneath, whooped him underneath the heart, went right? crash, mate. And he hit the floor, whoop, down he went. And uh, I looked at him and I thought, come on, get up, get up. You could see that he was just put his hands on the floor and he wanted to get up. Right? And he got up and he come rushing towards me like a big buffalo, you know, I mean, mad, like a, got me in the corner, roughed me up a little bit and stuck the nut on me, mate. <laughs> he stuck the nut on me, mate, I swear. He smashed me across my eye and my nose, yeah? I swear, my eye, my, straight away, my eye blew up. Like a football, massive, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't see out of it or nothing, you know? I went, whoa, looks out at Jimmy, went, finish it, finish it, finish it. I thought, I've got to finish this guy, mate, because he's now he's out to really oblige me. Now he's done that to me. He's given all that adrenaline, he's come back in his body. He feels confident now, yeah? He's rushed in, as he's rushed in, I went down, and I was like, bang! I've hit him so hard over the top, mate. I must have broke his jaw in about 10 places now. I just hit him so hard on the jaw, mate. He went. Flat on his belly, he was out. He was just out, mate. That's a roll him over, and get his gum shot out. You know, he was out for I don't know, thirty seconds, forty seconds. Sparko, Sparko. When I hit him, I hit him so hard it hit my elbow. You know, and this geezer was a big, big geezer that come to hurt me, and come to win the fight, which is what it's all about, isn't it? I think uh, Eddie gave him about four hundred quid. 
You know, he earned the 400 quid, doesn't he? He earned the 400 quid, don't worry about that. But he had to go. He had to go. I mean, if he, had, if, he if I didn't finish him when I finished it, he might have come back again, that at me again, and, and, and just ruined it for me, you know what I mean? But if I see that opening like that, right, and I've pushed it downstairs, his hands go whoop over the top, mate, and I hit him in that right hand. Wow. It just, it, it hurt. It shattered so much, yeah. That it hurt my elbow. Yeah, I swear I hit him so hard that it hurt my elbow. And I knew when I hit him, it was over. You know, you know, don't you? Quack! I hit him that hard, mate, it was over. And this geezer, um, after the fight, um, we, I was in the dressing room with him and he was having a shower. Um, I was going to have a shower, but RV Social Club is not really a place to have a shower, you know what I mean? So I just put. Bits of clothes on, tracksuit bottoms, the top and all that going. And I was standing there, Eddie and Jimmy, and we had a little sit down. And he come over, he said, fair play, mate. He says, you can't bang. And I said, yeah, mate. I said, you don't do so bad yourself. You know what I mean? My eye was out here. My eye was out here. You know, my nose was all was all black and blue as well. My eye was really big. He said, sorry about that. I said, no, no, that's part of it, mate. This is our license fighting. It's part of it, you know. He said, uh, I said, yet, um, I said, you want to lose weight? I said, you want to lose weight? I said, but you can bang yourself, mate. You hurt me a bit a couple of times, yeah? Especially when you hit me on the shoulder and it bounced it on the chin. It said, that was a punch. He said, thanks, mate. I said, yeah. He said, anyway, he said, come to the club. Anytime you want to come to the club. He said, it's free of charge. And nothing, you can just come in the club, mate, and enjoy your night, yeah? He said, you know, we will look after you. I said, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? I said, he said, not look after you like that, we look after you, mate, all right? He said, sweet. And a uh, couple of times I've been there with Jimmy. I would go down by myself, you know, but a couple of times I've been there with Jimmy, and we got looked after, and uh, the bouncers come over, have a chat to me. You know, Jimmy's always trying to get all the other bouncers to have a fight, and they don't want to know, they, they, they pulled out. But that's what Jimmy should, Jimmy should do. Uh, we used to go to clubs, bars, and all them sort of places. And just if you got something in the bar that looks a bit of a bully, uh, Jimmy would get hold of him. Because Jimmy's well respected, uh, Jimmy Tibbet. Yeah, very, very well respected, mate. He is who he is. Uh, his son knows a lot of people too. Uh, but at that age, was, when I was around, his son wasn't, I think his son was about 13, 14, maybe a bit younger than that. But his son knew a lot of people even at that age. Yeah, his, his son was a little bit of a fucker moving around. Uh, but as I say, uh, Jimmy, uh, I was got, remember I go to clubs, pubs, bars, or whatever. Even if you got a caps, you know, and them sort of places, uh, with always big, big people there, always see if we can get a fight. Because believe it or not, you know, the unlicensed fighting game is uh, a closed shop as such. Yeah? Everybody fights everybody. So it's nice to get different people, you know, different people, uh, like bouncers uh, and all them sort of doormen, you know, people in bars. Even you know, so I'll tell you what, you can come unstuck picking scaffolders and, and bricklayers and all that because some, some of them can have a white fight, you know. What I mean, <laughs> I've had, I've had some, I've had some real bad punch ups uh, with Jimmy in the ring with them sort of people, you know what I mean. But I used to love it, man. I used to love, I used to love the unlicensed fighting. Um, you know, I mean, to go down the Beckett and all this and all that, and, and to go and see other people fight. You know, watch Lenny fight and watch Roy Shaw fight, you know, and and Cliff Fields. I mean, Cliff Fields, because he was wrapped around us, I was just talk to Cliff a lot about fighting. Um, proper man, mate. He's, 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 he had massive hands, yeah, massive hands. Big man, mate, big man. But it's a, he wasn't muscular, he was just big and powerful, yeah. I was very muscular, yeah, very big. Because you're muscular, don't make it say you're powerful. Uh, but I could, uh, one thing I had, I could bang. It's one of the things that's, that was gifted to me as a child, yeah? That I can bang, yeah? And we always use that bang. Anyway, uh, please press the like button, subscribe, and nice one. Bye-bye.